Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to Get Hit With The Truth. So today we're doing, uh, we're continuing my 2022 year-end top tens as we look at my number six junior welterweight in the world right now at 140 pounds, the undefeated contender Gary Antoine Russell. As uh, Russell entered the year, um, he was not ranked coming into the year. He's an undefeated kind of prospect contender on the rise. Uh, only 26 years old is, is Russell. He's 16-0, 16 knockouts. He's knocked out every one of his opponents. He's currently his highest ranking as a WBC's number six. Um, so heading into the year, he wanted that big statement win over a top 10, top five guy. And he got a big opportunity in February on Showtime when he took on Victor Postal, uh, the former champ. Postal was focused on, you know, the Ukraine and what was going on there, but he decided to stay and fight Russell um, before going back for his country. And Russell just pretty much outworked him and was just beating the older Postal to the punch all, all the majority of the fight. I mean, Postal had his moments, but Russell was just putting it on him and was doing a good job. Uh, he, I think he staggered Postal a little bit in the 10th round and the referee jumped in way prematurely and stopped the fight. It should not have been stopped. I think Postal would have finished, but nonetheless, Gary Russell would have won the fight. And, um, you know, it, he's lucky that it that it says TKO in the 10th round. It makes him look better. But, um, yeah, I mean, Russell, it doesn't really matter. It was a really good win for him. It helped him beat a top five guy at the time. And um, it really puts him in line for something big heading into the, the new year. He also fought former champion, former two division champ, Rancis Bartholemy. And he um, he got a, ended up getting a sixth round TKO in that one where Bartholemy was actually competitive in the fight. He was actually doing all right. He got hurt and then, um, you know, some kind of BS. And, you know, I think they, they might have stopped the fight prematurely there too. But uh, Bartholemy, you know, uh, put on a good performance. And now, uh, you know, but Russell is, is, you know, looking good and really has a lot of opportunities. And he's already looking like he's going to get his first title shot in his, in his next fight. It looks like Russell's going to be fighting newly crowned undefeated WBA champion Alberto Puello for the WBA title. Now, that's not concrete, but what I read was that uh, Russell would fight Puello with the winner to fight the mandatory challenger Ismail Barroso. Now, Russell fought, when he fought Bartholemy, that was in July. And um, Puello beat Akhmadov in, um, I believe it was uh, August. So these guys should be signing on for a fight very soon. Um, Russell's been out of the ring six months now. It's been five months for Puello. Uh, you know, close to five months. So I would assume these guys are going to be in the ring in the first quarter of the year, February or March, to decide the WBC or WBA title. And then if Russell gets through Puello, which I think he will, um, I you know, he's young and I could see him returning to fight Ishmael Barroso by maybe, you know, like July or August. And um, I think he's going to dominate Barroso. He might be ready to return by the end of the year. You know, I'm not sure, you, you know, we all know how Al Heyman is, though, not letting his guys fight uh, very often, a uh, couple times a year max, but that would make him a serious player in the top five, uh, maybe top three, if he goes out and beats Puello to win the WBA belt and then dominates Ishmael Peroso, which I think he will. But also, you know, there's a, there's a potential of unification. He could be looking at a unification bout in early 2024, or he could be unifying against the winner of Sujiro Matias and Jeremiah Ponce, especially if it's Matias, because Matias is a knockout artist and been looking very good, and he's fighting Ponce for the vacant IBF title next. So, um, and that fight should be happening earlier in the year too. So, I think Gary Russell has a huge opportunity to cash in and make himself a serious player, and he could be a unified champ by the end of the year or looking at a unified title fight um, by the end of the year. So a lot is on the horizon for the young undefeated Gary Russell, and I really can't wait to see him in the ring. Hopefully the fight with Puello gets finalized and we hear something concrete on that very soon. But that's it. That's what I got. That's my number six junior welterweight in the world right now at 140 pounds. The 
undefeated contender Gary Antoine Russell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.